Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 333. Longest non decreasing sub away from two arrays. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So, this one is, to be honest, I feel like they ha I haven't seen this in Leak Code in, uh, on a Leak Code contest specifically in a while, but it used to be one of the more fundamental uh, textbook E problems in dynamic programming. Um, so definitely from, familiarize yourself with it. And this is basically the idea that, I forget what they used to call it, but, but this, the, the variation about this is usually relating to DNAs and stuff like this, and kind of like, well, if the last character is this, then what happens? And this is basically the idea, right? Um, uh, we try to figure out a dynamic programming solution, and basically the idea is that you know if let me let me draw draw it out real quick for this one hang on let me set up the drawing board literally huh how come it's not letting me choose it do 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 right so basically you can think about it as you know uh you could reimagine the the entire uh, thing as as kind of like a matrix, right? With n or two times n elements, and basically you're thinking about it as okay, you're starting either here or here, and then let me change the color real quick, and then you're trying to find like a path that that goes through this this array going. Oops, not like that, but you know you get the point, right? Uh, you kind of go up and down and that, and then you're trying to find from that um, the longest path in this kind of weird graph. And the graph is similar to the Q2 in that it is defined implicitly by, by okay, uh, this cell has, um, has an edge to this cell if this number is smaller or equal to non-decreasingly uh you go to this number right so if that's the case then there's an edge and then you try to find the longest path along that that's basically the idea and once you kind of have the visualization then the code will hopefully make more sense and basically the idea is that what this if statement is saying is that if there's an edge going from these dynamic programming cells then we can can do a dp thing on it of choosing okay well that means that this edge extends so here for example dp of i sub zero is equal to the the longest path that ends at uh num sub one and index i right and so this is saying that okay if we connect the cells from i to i minus one then then we can check whether the longest path, uh, if there's a if there's an edge there, we can see if we can extend that as part of the longest path on the longest path that ends at uh, the i minus one thing, right? And the one is basically the same thing except for is for nums two. So you can think about this as duh, 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 literally copy and pasting in front of you, and that's basically the idea. This kind of comes up quite a bit, so yeah. Uh, I had a silly mistake with with uh, best. I wrote best is equal to zero, but if n is equal to one, it doesn't go through the loop. So, really silly mistake. But uh, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. This is linear time, linear space, and yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you can watch me solve it live in the contest now. Let's go. All right, I was worried about TLE, but let's go. Uh, all right. Two arrays of at length n, and then now you have a third array. Okay, you take you take either i or j to three. What is n? n is ten to the fifth, so no dp, or at least not naive dp. Maximize the length of the longest non-decreasing subarray by choosing its very optimal. Two two. Hmm. 
Do we do greedy? I mean, there's only two choices, so so you basically, it, it, I was wrong, it is DP, right? It's just DP with ending on the first one or ending on the second one, right? Um, okay. Uh, or like, you know, mm, yeah, I'll just write out though, right? Um... Right. Which way do I have it? Oh, so there is equal to so okay. So if num sub i is I mean it's just case analysis after this, right? So I is it equal to and we start at one If this is true, then if then this is the uh, wait we are non decreasing. So if this is greater than uh, doo -doo -doo, then this is doo -doo 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 -doo, plus plus one. Uh, okay, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, oh. oh. Something like this, and then uh, da -da 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 -da. this is kind of very easy to mess up, I think. Uh, I don't know how I could, can I write this in a cleaner way, probably, but uh, I'm not exactly copy and pasting, but it's not even that much better than. Copy and pasting. Oh, yeah. No, that's not true. We want to max up the DP, okay, fine. Something like that, right? Was it 242? 242. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, I forget to. I thought I handled this zero case. Oh, because I started at one. Eh, is, uh, uh, okay, fine. Uh, what a silly mistake. Okay, fine. Uh, I thought I handled it, to be honest, but then I forgot that I changed it to one. All right. All right, silly mistake. Uh, 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 uh. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.